what is going on guys real touch gmail here back with another java tutorial and last time we we left off and if i go ahead and play the game here we just had our keyboard input and that's basically it we had a background we added an image of course uh and all that so we're going to actually be continuing on today now uh i did actually lose all the files from my last tutorials if you, and if you've not seen those tutorials go ahead and click that link in the description it'll bring you right there but if you uh if you saw those tutorials then uh you will know that or you will notice at least that some of the code has changed not too much i tried to you know i i look back at my tutorials see what i did and i tried and copied it uh as much as i could so uh yeah so we still use all the same thing for the you know for the action performed and all that if i use something different go ahead and leave a comment and uh i will get that straightened out but uh, yeah, today what we're going to be doing is if we go ahead and play our game, as you can see with our player here, uh, that you can actually go outside, outside the the room here. And I don't want that to happen. I actually want this to when you when you get to about right here, uh, you're gonna stop, and it's not gonna let you further anymore. Now, uh, you could you could say this is basic collision. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and go into the update class for our player. And I'm just going to say this uh, collision uh, with outside. All right. So what we want to do is we want to check the position of our player. And if it's outside uh, 0 or 640, because if you notice in our main class here that our room is 640 by 480. Uh, you should probably know that uh, before you do this. So we're gonna say if x is less than zero, I'll say yeah, less than one. X equals one. It's pretty simple. And if we played it now and we went all the way to the left, I actually can't go. Can't go through here. Now you can see there is a one pixel gap. So my bad. Let's actually do zero here. So if if it's uh. You know, if it's over zero, it's gonna shift it back. So it's actually uh, you can't see it here, but when you're going, it's actually moving one pixel, shaking back and forth. But it's just setting it to zero every time it goes past that one pixel. So we can copy this. You don't even have to. We could just say if, and now we'll do the y is less than zero, then y equals zero, which would be the top, because this is the left, and this is the uh, top and it goes zero zero and even if you go diagonally into it it's just gonna do the same thing so now here comes the tricky part which is this side here uh, now I say tricky because all right let me show you so we can say if X is greater than 640 X equals 640 that should work but now if we try it you can see it can still go out and that's because um our let me that's because our uh our sprite is 32 right 32 by 32 so what we're doing here is it's taking the top left corner of our sprite or our image and it's having that be the point of collision that's why zero and the y up was uh was um so you know easy so all we have to do here is do 608 608 and I would how I got those numbers was because um, I don't I didn't want to do math and I went ahead and popped in my calculator here 640 minus 32 which which is the width of our our image so I got 608 so now if you went ahead and played it as you can see now I can't get out now there is just a little gap there uh, you can uh, obviously, you know, just debug with that, and you're gonna do the same thing with uh, down there. So, uh, 480 minus 32, 448. So if y is greater than 448, then y equals 448. Very, very simple. So now, looks like that's uh, a <laughs> looks like I don't know why that's happening. Uh, I don't know. You get you can uh just play with these numbers. So here, let's try four eighteen. You can play with these numbers. 
as all right see there you go now it's a little better still a little gap but you can fix that uh, but now your player no matter what you do this is glitch free he will not be able to get out of the room absolutely not so go and leave a like go and subscribe I will be bringing more Java tutorials on the way along with uh, game maker so look for that and I will see you next time peace